Welcome to another Foldit Lab Report. I am BKEP here at the Institute for Protein Design with my colleague Ian H. If this is your first time tuning in to a Foldit Lab Report, we release these videos on the first of every month to tell you more about the science that goes on behind Foldit. We have some really big news this month. We are bringing AlphaFold to Foldit. If you don't know, AlphaFold is a revolutionary new method for predicting the 3D shape of a protein. It uses deep learning to generate a protein structure based on its sequence. When it competed head-to-head -head with other programs built for the same job, AlphaFold came out on top. It is the most accurate tool ever made for this important problem. In fact, you could go check out our lab report from January to hear more about the details behind AlphaFold. Before we launched protein design puzzles in Foldit, it was all about structure prediction. We created Foldit back in 2008 so that anyone with a computer could use their innate 3D reasoning to try and predict protein structures. When Foldit launched, every puzzle was a structure prediction puzzle. But things have changed in a big way. Since then, Foldit has shifted towards protein design puzzles, while researchers in structure prediction have just made a huge leap forward. The use of AI tools for structure prediction is transforming protein science, but no one knows what that means yet for protein design. Starting now, you can take part. In July, the company DeepMind that made AlphaFold posted their algorithm online and made it freely available so that anyone could use it. We are adding AlphaFold to Foldit so that every Foldit player can immediately start to take advantage of this amazing new tool. Now, when you design a new protein in Foldit, you'll have the option to get feedback directly from AlphaFold about your design. Remember, designing a protein means creating a brand new protein sequence. The prediction from AlphaFold can tell us whether your sequence is likely to fold up into the correct structure. This is big. It means that we can have more confidence in the proteins that you design in Foldit. Whether you're designing an antiviral protein or a new protein material, AlphaFold and Foldit together should help us design molecules that work the way we want them to. This new way of using AlphaFold in Foldit is totally unique. Now you can combine your creativity with the latest AI tools to create new proteins that have never existed before. This is really a partnership between the AlphaFold neural network and the neural network inside your head. This is also a great example of different teams bringing new ideas together. DeepMind has cited Foldit as one of their inspirations for creating AlphaFold, and now they've inspired us. With their new tool inside Foldit, you can be the one to help make the next breakthrough in protein design. And that brings us to our puzzle updates. In July, we saw binder design puzzles against targets like the TGF beta receptor or the IL-2 receptor. We saw ligand binder design puzzles for ligands like cortisol or olivitolic acid. And lastly, we saw lots more symmetry design puzzles, and these will be very helpful for us in designing new protein materials, which we talked about in our last video. For this month's design of the month, we have a design from puzzle 2014. This is a binder design puzzle for the TGF beta receptor. This design was shared by an anonymous player, um, but this design makes very nice hydrogen bonds to polar atoms that are buried on the TGF beta receptor target. Uh, if we look at this design, we see it's a, a three helix bundle with a very strong hydrophobic core and lots of blue polar residues on the outside. So this is very good. We think this protein will probably fold up so that these orange hydrophobic residues are buried in the protein core. At the interface, we see a couple big hydrophobic residues, two phenylalanines here, and also an isoleucine and a couple more hydrophobic residues on the back here. Um, so these are nice. They should make good sticky contacts with the protein target. But also there's a nice distribution of polar blue residues here at the target interface that makes some excellent hydrogen bonds to polar atoms on the target. So remember, when we're designing a protein to bind to a target, we have to be very careful about polar atoms on the target that might be buried on binding. When this protein binds, it looks like 
the binder will be able to make hydrogen bonds with almost all of the polar atoms on the target surface. And this is very, very important. If there are buried unsatisfied polar atoms on the target surface, then binding will be a problem. And if we look at the Bunn's objective on this puzzle, we see that there are just a couple of these buried unsatisfied polar atoms in the bound structure. So these might be a little bit worrisome. Um, ideally, both of these buried polar atoms here would make hydrogen bonds and therefore be completely satisfied. Um, but regardless, we do really like all of the hydrogen bonds that this does make. Uh, the hydrophobic packing between the binder and the target should make for sticky binding. Um, this looks like a solid design for me. Again, we encourage all Folded players to share with scientists your favorite designs. Even if they don't score as well as the top scoring designs in a puzzle, we like to see what Folded players are most interested in. That's all we have for this month. We are really excited to see how Folded players make use of this new AlphaFold tool. If you have feedback about it, please reach out to the Folded team on the website or on Discord. Uh, that's all we have. Thanks for playing. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.